Do you guys look in the shot? Okay, cool. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined by 98 Degrees, Jeff Timmons, Drew Lachey, Justin Jeffrey, O-Towns, Eric Michael Estrada, All for Once, Jamie Jones, and Mr. Ryan Cabrera. Hey, hey what's up? Listen, you guys are all here. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for joining. Welcome, welcome. I mean, listen, you guys have been nominated for one every music award possible. You've sold over more than 80 million CDs and albums worldwide. Boy Band Christmas, like what drew you to this tour? How did you guys get involved? Tell me everything. Jeff? <laughs> Drew? Well, well, look, originally, you know, 98 Degrees in the past had had some pretty successful holiday tours. We were kind of planning on doing that again, you know, this year. And we had some some dates slated, the ones you're seeing on the calendar there. But unfortunately, Nick couldn't do it. He, you know, his wife's filming a big TV show. It's based out of Hawaii. He, he's a big family guy, so he had to be with his kids. And last year, we did a, a big holiday special that, you know, was sort of Eric's brainchild on ABC. And it was on Hulu. It was wildly popular. And we decided to kind of take a road version of that uh, out on tour. And, and we've been having a blast. I mean, tonight's opening night. The, you know, we've got the pregame jitters and all that stuff. But I think we're excited to give the fans a great show. The rumors are true. I am the new official fourth member of 98 Degrees. Nick, you're <laughs> out. He replaced him. We've been trying to do I'm that in. for a year. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, do you feel left out, Ryan? You know, you're with all these members of various boy bands. You've been a solo act. I mean, how does it feel to be part of the band? No, if anything, it's the exact opposite. I feel so included. I, I was just walking around. I snuck in backstage. Next thing I know, I'm part of a boy band Christmas. It's great. <laughs> how have, like, you You guys are kicking it off tonight, December 2nd in L Louisiana. I mean, how have rehearsals been going? Like, have there been any hijinks? Like, Who's who's late for rehearsal? Like who's on time? Like how how has rehearsal been? It's it's been good, honestly. Rehearsals have been, I'll say they've been long because we've been burning that candle because you know we have a lot of information to fit in in a couple of days, and all of us want to make sure we put on the best show possible. So like everybody's been really like, you know, putting in that work, grinding. That's right. What about, you know, for everyone that has a ticket or, you know, they're going to go out and buy a ticket after listening to you guys on this podcast, like what can people expect from coming to the show? We're going to hear a lot of hits from, you know, all the different groups and, and artists here. And, you know, you're also going to hear a lot of Christmas uh, classic songs. Yeah. So there's going to be a whole lot of whole holiday spirit going on. Do you guys have like each of you or any of you, do you guys have like a favorite Christmas song? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this yeah. Christmas is probably my favorite Christmas song, and and actually we we did one. Uh, we recorded an original song. Well, it's a Oh Holy Night, but we did our own arrangement of it. Jeff arranged it. We recorded it just for this tour. Um, it's out at radio right now. It just broke the top twenty. Yeah. It's actually number eighteen today. So number I mean, it's not like an interview. I brag about it. So <laughs> but hopefully it won't fall off the charts. The so next time it's like, oh, it's down to twenty five. No, it's right. It's it's eighteen today. I got the update. So we're excited about that one. Wow. So that's like climbing the charts but also at the same time it's interesting because we're learning more about each other as we kind of get into this thing jamie has a single out as well which we're covering in the show you yeah. want to talk about that one a yeah, little bit yeah it's an old classic called give love on christmas day it was originally made famous by jackson five i think smokey robinson did it and it's one of my favorite christmas songs but i'm not the only one who's got another single out who else in this room does yeah, I'll do. me and eric have our first duet we have a, a christmas song as well called spend it with you so, uh, so I'm biased right now because I'm loving that tune. Um, and you know, as as a huge fan of Christmas, you know, Eric knows like I have a Christmas tree up year round in my house. Uh, to get to be a part of this show is like a dream come true for me because I love Christmas music. Uh, when actually, when I was on tour uh, with 90 Degrees No Town and the My 2K tour, some of these guys like Nick would come in or Drew would come in, and I would be uh, getting ready for the show. And if this was a summer tour, and I'd be listening to Michael Bublé's Christmas <laughs> album, and they're like. What are you doing? I'm like, this is what gets me pumped for shows. <laughs> so before I even go on stage, I'm listening to Christmas music, even in like June, July, and August. So this is a this is a very very uh, dream come true uh, tour for me, and getting to just watch as a fan is is very cool. And then even just get to be a part of it, and then get to do my own Christmas song with Eric is obviously very special as well. Our first song, our very first song ever, do is we've been touring for six years. We've yeah. never, we never. Sang it took it. Christmas to bring us all together. It brings, yeah, that's what it's together. about. Yeah, bring it together. Yes. 
when you keep your Christmas tree up year round, Ryan, like, do you keep it decorated or do you like take the, you know, just, just a tree with like, does it have like Halloween decorations in October? Uh, do you, well, do you mix yeah, it up? So I have, we have three trees in our house two stay up year round. And one, like the main big one that's decorated all crazy is only up for the, for the holidays. But, but the one upstairs is like a Patron Christmas tree. So it's a, uh, it's like the Patron light uh, Christmas tree. And then the one downstairs is like white with glitter. So that's like my wife's Christmas tree. So she's got the bottom one. Obviously, the Patron Christmas tree is mine. <laughs> I love it. Well, Jeff and Drew and Justin, like speaking of Christmas, I mean, you guys have worked with the queen of Christmas. Like, thank God I found you. What was it like working with Mariah? I mean, honestly, it's it was uh, probably everything that people can imagine. I mean, she is uh, a diva in the best way. She knows exactly what she wants. I mean, she wrote a great song there. Um, you know, we've, we've worked with her on, on different things. The music video, she was always very accommodating to us. Um, you know, I, I think some people get reputations just because they're strong and they're opinionated and they know what they want. Um, but you have to respect somebody that, that is that way. Um, you know, and, and especially in this industry, if you don't know what you want, you don't speak up for yourself and advocate for yourself. Somebody else is going to speak up for you and it might not be what you want. So, um, you know, working with the queen of Christmas, she should trademark that. She yeah. tried. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what we got on our tour, though? We got the King, the King of Christmas, Christmas right here. <laughs> Eric Michael Estrada is just now deep. We deem him the King of Christmas. You got to, you know, let Mariah know that you're the King of Christmas, Eric. I, I He did. He called her earlier. I'm working on the trademark. Yeah. And I'm she working on it. I'm working on the, got back to us yet. the Don King of Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when you guys like when you have a minute in the in, in this tour, just start to trademark everything, right? Everything. Yes. What do you guys, you know, you said you love Christmas. Who, who doesn't love Christmas? That's why I think this tour is such a great idea with all of you. What do you guys love most about Christmas, like this time of year? Like what do each of you love about it so much? I mean, nostalgia, family, you know, the same stuff that everybody loves about it, you know, especially in the whirlwind of the last few years with the COVID and everything yeah. like that. I mean, I think it just makes you appreciate all these holidays even more the monotony of of the way they come around every year i mean i think when you when you go through something like that all of these holidays especially christmas makes you more thankful for your family and your friends your close friends food <laughs> yeah all food. the food all the right? food all the food and then just time you know getting to spend time with people and having like a, a you know a gratefulness and appreciation for it yeah i know for me like my kids are now college age and they're all in college so I'm looking forward to us all being back together in the same state, in the same house, even if I'm only going to get a chance to see them for maybe a day or two, because we don't get home from this tour until Christmas Eve. I know you guys are really on the road throughout all of December. I mean, yeah. speaking of which, Ryan, you know, you got married earlier this year. It hasn't even been a year. Are you missing your wife during this this month now that you're on the road? Uh, with I am, family? but she's going to she's going to make her appearances along the way. We're picking and choosing uh, when she can come out. I love she, it. Or she is, I think she's more excited than anybody about this. She loves, she loves all of these cats. She can get, just sit there in the audience and watch. She'll be singing every single 